the product with the lowest carbon footprint is the product that you're not making. And this speaks to reparability. If I can repair something, I don't have to buy a whole new machine, or if I can harvest pieces and components from different machines that have reached end of life and create a new one. Again, that's another way of really thinking about sustainability. But how are you balancing the making something that is robust and at the same time easy to repair. Repairability is the cornerstone to maintaining a PC beyond its first useful life and into future uses. There are a lot of uh, methodologies being debated about how to attribute uh, emissions to refurbished PCs because it is complicated. You know, you have uh, already accounted for the emissions in that first life. If you're only upgrading certain components, do you only impact the emissions of that second device, the second life with those improved uh, yeah. upgraded components. Yeah. So that's been a, a request from customers as well is, hey, if I want to extend it another year, what do I need to take into consideration to attribute emissions and account for them? Um, so that's, uh, you know, kind of kind of the same hurdle as the industry needing to get more specific on product carbon emissions and um, and the components that come with it, the supplier data that comes with it, all of that. I think it kind of tiptoes into services. So we do yes. have a service for Lifecycle Hub where we can fully manage, uh, you know, your fleet and do that refurbishing and then that redeployment to you and run the analysis to say if this product should continue on or if it should be repurposed for spare parts or for um, refurbishing.